Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important word from the Bible. Rather, Psalm 35 verse 20. The verse, let us meditate on the word. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us and guide us and speak to us as we try to understand the word from the Bible. Amen. Amen. Them that are quiet in the land. Psalm 35 verse 20. Them that are quiet in the land. Psalm 35 verse 20. We are to enter into God's chamber and hide there and be still. Then God will call us the quiet in the land. Have the stamp upon you. Be quiet outside. You will then be quiet inside. Be quiet in spirit. Beware of soul activities. The dross must be burned out to have the mountain vision. We must get back to God only and cease to see the human instruments. Hide deeper into God. He may be real, more and more real. Hide with Christ in God at the throne. Be at the spring of things. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. The words are true, beloved, as we read in Isaiah 30, verse 15. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Set yourself to move everything through God, not man. Go direct to Him, beloved. The words are true. Every step with God in quietness and confidence gives you absolute victory over everything. Keep in step with God. The words are true. Get quiet, beloved soul. Tell out thy sorrow and complain to God. Yes, because he is our loving friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. Go and tell all your pleas, all your requests, all your needs to him, beloved. For the word says, cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. 1 Peter 5 verse 7. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. The words are true, as we read in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Let not the greatest pressure of business divert, divert thee from God. When men rage about thee, go and tell Jesus. Hide thee in his secret place when storms are high. Get into thy closet, shut thy door, and quiet thyself as a weaned babe. But if thy voice is still to a man, voice is quiet to man. Let it never cease to speak loudly and mightily for man. We need to be quiet to get the ear of God, beloved. Yes, we need to go in his presence as one half of the ills of life come because man are unwilling the men are unwilling to sit down quietly for 30 minutes to think through all the possible consequence of their acts yes beloved we can get victory when we go in the presence of a mighty god the king of king the maker of heaven and earth and put up a request to him yes let us take out at least half an hour from the 24 hours and go in the presence of a mighty God, the maker of heaven and earth, yes, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, and pray, yes, for as we hear speaking, he will hear, and as we pray, he will answer. The words are true, Isaiah 65, verse 24. Nothing can stop what God has ordained for you and me, beloved, as we read in Isaiah 14, verse 27. Yes, he is a mighty God, he is the King of kings, Lord of lords. Yes, and he never leaves us nor forsakes us. The words are true in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Yes, and Joshua 1 verse 9. Yes, there are times when we have difficulties. We have hard days. We have sad days. We have days of happiness, of joy. Yes, but Jesus Christ is there with us every second, every moment. We may be in a sick bed right now. Yes, my beloved you may be in the sick bed right now, but Jesus Christ 
is present with you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. For with the wounds and the strife that he suffered for us, he heals us. Isaiah 53, verse 5. Be healed in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. Yes, the word is living word, beloved. Yes, I and my father are one. The word says in John 10, verse 30. Yes, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Revelation 1, 8. We find five times. It was written in the book of Revelation. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the omnipotent God who reigns as we read in Revelation 19, verse 6. Yes, and even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Masiha. As we read in Matthew chapter 28, the words are true. Yes, he is a living God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Yes, and he will never leave us nor forsake us. As we read the mighty word, it is speaking to you and to me. Hallelujah. Yes, and also, yes, as we read the mighty word, he is our guide even unto death, beloved. As we read in Psalm 48, verse 14. Yes, and many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. As we read in Psalm 34, verse 19. In the days of famine, we will enjoy plenty. Psalm 37, verse 19. The words are true. Yes, for the word says, there is nothing impossible for a mighty God. Matthew 19, 26, Luke 1, 37. And nothing can stop. Yes, what God has ordained for you and me. As we read in Isaiah 14, verse 27. Yes, he has a plan for you and me, beloved. And every curse will be turned into a blessing. Deuteronomy, we read in 25, 23, verse 5. The words are true. Yes, Jesus Christ is a mighty God and he is present with us. He will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters and he will be our shepherd. The words are true as we read the mighty word from Revelation chapter 7, verse 17. And he is a salvation. Revelation 7, verse 10. Yes. And also, we feel sometimes that whether God is hearing my prayer, whether he knows my plea, whether he knows my situation, whether he knows my pain, my sorrow, my trouble. Our mighty God knows everything, beloved. For even before we were formed in the womb, he knew us. The words are true. As we read in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, you and me are in this world. God has a plan. God has a purpose. He will lead us, beloved. The word says, when we fear him, when we obey his commandment, yes, when we obey him and serve him, we will have prosperity all our days and pleasure all our years. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Job 36 verse 11, the counsel of the Lord stands forever and his plans to all generations. Psalm 33, verse 11. From the beginning, he knows the end, beloved. As we read in Isaiah 46, verse 10, and 46, verse 4, the word says to you and to me, yes, he will carry us. He will carry us in our gray hair and old age also. Yes, we many times think, what is our future? What will be our tomorrow? The word says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Enough are the cares of the day. Yes, beloved, the words are true. As we wake up in the morning, we see the birds are chirping. They are praising the mighty God. They are such small, tiny creatures. We are much more than that, isn't it? The word says in Matthew 6, verse 28, Why take it thought? Yes, let us cast all our cares upon him, for he cares for us. As the words are true, as we read, in 1 Peter 5, 7. For we are the chosen generation. We are the royal high priest. The words are true. 1 Peter 2, 9. Yes, beloved, the words are true. And he comes riding on the heavens, on the excellency of clouds to help you and me. Deuteronomy 33, verse 27. He will open the doors and the gates of heaven. Yes, and send his blessing in abundance. There will be showers of blessing in your life and my life. As we read in Ezekiel 34, 26, yes, all the words are true, beloved. He will fulfill all your good wish and desire. The words are true. Delight yourself in the Lord. And he will give you the desire of your heart. The words are true. In, as we read in Psalm 37, the words are true. What is it to delight in the Lord? 
It is as we read in 1 John 3.22, we have to fear him, keep his commandments. We have to do what is pleasing in his sight and he will bless us. Yes, let us do it, beloved. Yes, let us submit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. Let us commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. He will take care of all our needs. We will be a new man, new woman with the new Christ-like nature. Yes, all our past will be wiped away with the blood of fish of the Messiah. Yes, what all our past will be there. Jesus Christ has a power, yes, to deliver us and also to give us a new name. Yes, high of all nations in name, praise and honor. Deuteronomy 26, verse 18 and 19. The words are true. When we obey a mighty God, we will have victory. As victory with obedience, the word says Deuteronomy chapter 11. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14 says, the blessings of obedience as when we love a mighty God. When we love him, when we serve him, we shall be the head and not the tail. Thou will bless my basket. We shall not borrow but lend to the nations. Hallelujah. The words are true, beloved. He is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Yes, he is a mighty God and he will never leave us nor forsake us. The words are true. Yes, so you are not alone. As we read in 1 Chronicles 22 verse 13, the word says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be dismayed. We see 365 times in the Bible, it says, Fear thou not. Fear thou not. Yes, beloved. And also, let us be in the mighty presence of a mighty God. As the word says, Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Zechariah 1 verse 3 and Malachi chapter 3. The word says in Proverbs 8, as we read from verse, yes, it is saying, as the word says, yes, I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me. The words are true, beloved, as we read in Proverbs chapter 8, yes, verse 17 to 21, and bestowing wealth on all those whom he loves, and making their treasuries full. Hallelujah. He is a God of prosperity, beloved. The words are true, Isaiah 45 verse 7. The word says, I form light, I create darkness, I, yes, create calamity, I bring prosperity. I am the God who does all these things. Yes, beloved. The word is life, the word is spirit, John 6 verse 63. The word is fire, the word is hammer, which will break the rock into pieces. Jeremiah 23 verse 29. And he is our righteousness, beloved. He is a God, God of righteousness. As we read in Jeremiah 23, verse 6, He is a Malek HaMalekim, King of King. He is our Yeshua. Sarah Shalom, Yeshua Tizit Kenu. Yes, He is a God of righteousness. He is God will provide. Genesis 22, verse 14. He is a Yahweh Ire. Genesis 22, verse 8. Yes, God will provide. Yes, He is a Yahweh Ire. Whatever is your request today, whether it is for money that you require, for your business, for your home, whether you require the food, the water, the bread, whatever is your request, whether healing or whether it is for getting an employment, Jesus Christ will bless you for he is present with us right now. Not tomorrow, not day after tomorrow, not with appointment, but right now. Yes, there is no fees required, beloved. For the word says, ask and you shall receive, and it shall be given to every one. Mark the words, every one. Yes, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, the word is for everyone, beloved. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus Christ will bless you right now. Hallelujah. Yes, for a body is the temple of living God. A body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Let us keep it holy, pure and clean. So Jesus Christ will dwell among us. Yes, the words are true. And let us love one another. The commandment given to you and to me, as we read in John 15, verse 12. We have to love one another. And we have to love a living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. Yes, as we read in Luke 10, verses 25 to 27, the first commandment. And the second is we have to love our neighbor. Yes, beloved. Love is the greatest of all. Faith, hope and charity. But the greatest of all is love. 1 Corinthians 13.13 13. Love covers all differences. It breaks all barriers. 
and love never ends. Let us love one another. When we love one another, Christ lives in us, and his love is made complete through us. 1 John 4.12 For he who is within us is greater than he who is in this world. 1 John 4.4 4. Yes, today, whatever is your question, my dear brother, my dear sister, do not be defeated, but be victorious in life. Hallelujah. For the word says, the battle is the Lord's. 1 Samuel 17.47 He will wipe away every tear. He is our salvation. Revelation 10. Yes, Revelation. It says it is true, beloved. Yes, yes. 7 was 10 and 7 was 17. He is our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For the art with me, the rod and the staff, they comfort me, the prepares the table before me, the anointest my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Yes, beloved, everything is at hand. Seize the day, be victorious in life. Yes, you are not alone. Jesus Christ is there with you. Yes. And do arise and shine is the message for you and me as we read in Isaiah 60 verse 1. Yes, as this is the channel, arise and shine. Do send all your requests for prayer. We will pray for you. The link is the email address is given in the description. And also as the Lord is leading you, you can send your tithes on the email and also on the link which is given in the description, yes, beloved, as the Lord guides you, you can send your tithes, thanksgiving offering. Yes, this is the mission for the blind. Yes, God bless you abundantly. As we read in Psalm 38 verse 6 and also Ephesians 3 verse 20. Yes, beloved, and also seize the day, be victorious in life. Hallelujah. Yes, there is nothing impossible with Almighty God. He can do everything, and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. Job 42, verse 2. As we see the later part of Job, was blessed double amount than the first. Rarely we see such thing happens. But with God, everything is possible, beloved. Yes, as we read in Job 42, verse 12. Job's later days were blessed double amount. Yes, double. The blessings were there. Similarly, God will bless us. For whatever our past has been there, Jesus Christ will wash away all our past with the blood of Yeshua the Messiah. Yes, beloved, he has all power and authority. As we read in Matthew 28, and even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Every answer is there in the Bible. Read the Bible, beloved. Yes, be victorious in life. He's already gone ahead of us. He's already sent us, Judges 4.14, Judges 6.14. And one who looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Yes, let us remember the word as we read the mighty word from Luke. Yes, beloved, the words are true. Luke chapter 9, verse 62. So let us be filled with the power of Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit has been given to us as a guide, as a helper. Yes, be filled with the Holy Spirit. For when we have the Holy Spirit, we will act. Acts 1 8. Let us receive the gifts and the fruits of Holy Spirit peace, love, joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, mercifulness, patience, self control. Yes, as we read also the gifts of Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9. That is the wisdom, the knowledge, yes, the faithfulness, the gift of performing the miracles, the gift of healing, the gift of of speaking in tongues yes the gift of prophecy everything is at hand beloved just we have to seize the day we have to ask and we have to receive when we have the holy spirit we'll be controlled with the holy spirit ask for the holy spirit all our anger will go away for the words we cease from anger and forsake wrath as we read in psalm 37 yes the words are true as we read in Proverbs 3 verse 6 the word says yes that yes Mighty God will direct us. Yes, he is our salvation, beloved. Yes, the words are true. 
Yes, acknowledge the Lord in all your ways and he will direct your paths. The words are true. For the Lord shall be my confidence and he will keep my feet from being ensnared. As we read in Proverbs 3 verse 26. Yes, every answer is there in the Bible. It is for the young, for the old, for the babes and for everyone. This is the word of the Lord. Let it be there in your hand, in your mouth. As we read in Judges 7 verse 20 and also we read in Isaiah 49 verse 2. And those who hope in him will not be disappointed. Remember the words, beloved, as we read in Isaiah 49 verse 23. And all the flesh will know that he is my redeemer and he is my salvation. Isaiah 49 verse 26. The words are true. So be blessed today and be victorious in life. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ bless each one of us. Also, yes, the word for this year, the blessing is, as we read the mighty word from, it speaks in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. God is saying, I know your plans, I know your thoughts, and I have plans of future, hope, prosperity, peace, and welfare for you and me. Yes, beloved, he will bless us abundantly, yes. So, cast all your cares upon the Lord. For he cares for you. 1 Peter 5 7. God bless each one of us. Do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. As God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist, and priest, I am here in a service as the confirmation of the divine call. Numbers chapter 70. Yes, and as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24, verse 50. Yes, God bless each one of us and trust the Lord at all times, Psalm 62, verse 8. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen, amen, hallelujah, amen.